A great photo can stand alone, video cannot. Each shot is dependent on the next to continue and drive the story. In photography, you have one still to tell the story, but when it comes to video, story is the foundation of the entire piece. My aim is to engage the audience. I always want to move them to feel or act. For example, with this video, my aim is to motivate you to pick up your camera and shoot video. Once I have that in mind, it becomes easier to work out what information I need to convey both visually and with sound. To create a story, you first have to decide on its purpose. Then you have to develop a structure or narrative. In other words, the story. Your work becomes more impactful and meaningful, whether you're shooting a commercial or a corporate event. Every story has a beginning, middle and end. Think of the beginning as the introduction and the middle as the main body of the story and the ending as the conclusion or the resolution. You'll then start to think about what shots and audio will be included throughout the entire piece. Taking your video from idea to screen involves making choices before you shoot your film. This is pre-production. For big projects with large crews, this will depend on a storyboard. For simpler projects, I use a shot list. This can be very important, as the shots captured for one video can be recorded over an hour, a day, even weeks. Often, you aren't even shooting in the order that the shots will be viewed in the end video. You have to be sure that you have what you need. The aim with any story is to keep the audience engaged. If a story is totally predictable, the audience become bored. The result is the viewer hits stop or moves on. And this is why we often have twists and turns in a story. Or there is a little jeopardy. Is the hero going to win? Or is the main character going to make it across the desert? Let me illustrate. I'm going to take this 5D Mark IV and I'm going to throw it into the air and then catch it. Or hope I catch it. Are you ready? Now, I'm not really going to do it. But you were on the edge of your seat, right? Because you didn't know what was going to happen. So you watched. Storyline sequence is essential to create a video that holds interest. To summarize, a video must have a purpose and a goal. It could be to entertain, to inform, educate, or to get the viewer to do something like buy now. And a boring video is a video that is too predictable. Keep it interesting. All shots, script, and sound work towards that story which has a beginning, middle, and end. In the next lesson, we'll start to get technical and explore the use of frame rates, size, and resolution in video.